Hey y'all, so I am back. So this is gonna be a video on this hair, okay? It turned out so good. And this is just a closure wig. So real simple, I did a middle part with some baby hairs and it's nice and long. So yes, if y'all wanna know where this hair is from and all the details on how I installed it, then keep on watching. so this here is from love muse hair this is the bag if you can see that and the inside i got some lashes i also got a bonnet i believe yes i think this is a bonnet yes i got a bonnet and then i also got some wig cap and i also got a wig comb i believe that was in there unless my baby stuck it in and then of course the wig came in a bag so this is a 30 inch wig and this is a closure wig it doesn't have the all the other details on it but yeah this is a body wave closure wig um and it's 30 inches i got this 30 inch and it's really cute falls really nice so yeah stay tuned for the video to see how i installed it and slayed the install Okay, doll, so this is how the wig looks. I have curled it, but I left the closure sectioned off so you can see the curls. This is the inside of the wig. There are three combs across the top and then one in the back with an adjustable strap and also an elastic strap in the wig. So I'm going to just go ahead and tint my lace. I'm using my even tinted lace spray and I just go ahead and spray that on the lace and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on to see you know how everything is lining up and everything like that so we can work on laying it down before i go in and start to lay the lace down i always like to go in and cut off these little tabs on the sides because they just get in the way so i'm just going to cut those off on each side and then i'm going to take my even wonder lace bond and i'm going to be using this to lay the wig down so i'm just going to go ahead and spray the hairline where the lace meets the end of where the hairline is it really simple i just do like little sprays and then use my finger to smooth it out because if you try to just do like a whole line of this it's just gonna be way too much and it's going to run down on the lace so try to spray it lightly because we are going to go in and add more later anyway so after i do that i go in with my blow dryer and blow dry on a cool setting and i also like to take a red tail comb with the middle end and just use that to also press the lace down into my forehead so then after that i'm gonna go in and grab my little scissors cut off the lace and then go in and clean it up with some alcohol just to get off any excess residue that has you know dripped down the lace so after i do that then i'm gonna grab my spray once again and just spray the hairline down again and this is going to give you that melted look and really melt the lace into place. Like you definitely have to do both steps because of the way that I apply it. So after I do that, I'm going to go in and start my part off. I always go back in and repart again after I have started to lay everything down. But this is just like my base part, which is why I don't go in with the wax stick right in the center immediately. And I'm also going to tie down my edges with an elastic band so that it can melt even more. So now I'm going to start laying the top part of the wig so it can be nice and flat and not give that wiggy appearance. If you go in and you just do this in the middle part, like wherever your part is at, it's still going to be bulky. So I definitely recommend doing some sections to get it nice and flat. And I usually just do like three or four sections depending on how big the closure or frontal area is and you know how much bulk I have so I think I did like four sections and you can see I kind of go in with the hot comb first and warm it up then I add the wax stick and then I go back in with the hot comb once again and you can already see that it's really flattening out any of those lumps and bumps so you can see the difference on one side versus the other and then I went ahead and took off my elastic band and I'm also going to go ahead and define my part by using some concealer on a really small angled eyeshadow brush and I just run this straight down the part and then usually I would go in with my wrapping mousse but I just used the hot comb to kind of help to melt it in and I also took a black eyeshadow and I'm just going to run that on the sides of where the concealer is 
which is actually basically on the hair and this will hide any over bleach knots and it's also just going to perfect the parting area and make it really pop out. So I also did do some layers in this hair just to do the can I talk like what? <laughs> just to give the hair some face framing layers. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and one curl it, and this is the same one curler that I use to curl the rest of the hair. So I'm basically just going to curl you know, the section that I have left out, but I just curled this back section and then I went in and parted down my baby hairs. I like to do my baby hairs first before I curl, you know, that front section because it's going to kind of get messed up. Anyways, if I have to go back in and part down my baby hairs and do them and all of that. So you can see I took a comb so that I can line it up and get the perfect you know, parting of baby hair so it's spaced out evenly on each side. And then after I cut it down with an eyebrow razor, I just take my little flat iron and go in and curl it. And it's going to have this really small little curl. And then I take my edge brush. I do spray my edge brush with some hairspray, a light hold hairspray. I like to use the Fantasia and just spray it directly on the edge brush and then go ahead and swoop the baby hairs into place. And whenever I use this, the baby hairs are not too crunchy or anything, but they do hold in place, but they still give that soft, wispy appearance. And I really love to do my baby hairs like this now versus using like a wrapping mousse to lay my baby hairs. So yeah, it just makes a difference and I like it better whenever you curl it because it gives more of that curled kind of look. I don't know how to explain it, but you can look at some old videos when I used to use the wrapping mousse and you can see the difference. Like... It does make a difference. So I did go in and finish curling off the rest of the hair. And I also took my same Fantasia spray and kind of sprayed along the front part of the hairline. And then I'm going to brush it back because I do like that pushed back kind of look. And I kind of just let the hairspray dry a bit before going in with the hot comb because I don't want it to be too wet where it's going to leave like a white cast from putting an iron right on it. So I'm just going to go in and comb out the hair. I did my hair at night. I went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and then now I'm going to be finishing the hair. So the curls have been slipped on, but I didn't comb them out at night. So I do go in and just touch up any curls that I need to. And you can see here how it looks whenever you use the hot comb and kind of like push the hair back. And the hair was a little dry, not really, but I just wanted to give the hair a little bit more shine and you know make sure that I didn't have any frizz or anything like that so I'm just using a little bit of serum on the hair a little at the top and also on the ends of the hair and everything and then just kind of working my fingers through the hair to really work the serum into the hair so you can see how my hair is looking and how long it falls okay doll so this is the completed look of the hair I think it looks really good Nothing wrong with the wig or the lace or anything like that. I had no issues whatsoever. So yes, if you guys have questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try to show y'all my outfit really quick. Um, but I have my camera up on my desk. This is my outfit. I'm just wearing this dress. I got it from Charlotte Rue. Um, and it's like a, you know, it has the back out. But it is like a little collar shirt. So I think that's really cute because it kind of dresses it up. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these sandals. Really hard to kind of like get everything in. Those are the shoes. And then to go along with the shoes, I have the purse. So, see the vibe? Okay, so super cute. Really neon, but simple. You know, like it looks really good with like black or pink, like one solid color. So, yes, I got to go. I'm going to get my nails done and my feet and everything. And I'm running late. So, love you dolls.